Right, we are rolling. Light camera action. Okay. Something that I wanted to talk about today was your life. Yes, your life. Because do you ever get that feeling that every day is the same? It's like Groundhog Day. You wake up, you have your morning shit, <laughs> you go to work, you go to school, you come home, you sleep, next day, you wake up, you have your morning shit, you go to school, go to work, come home, sleep. And it's like that every single day. I felt this most when I was in high school because it just everything just felt the same. I'd have lessons, well, I'd wake up in the morning, have my breakfast, have lessons, come home, play video games for a bit, do some homework that needed doing, then bed. And then tomorrow the exact same thing. I think a lot of people feel this way as well. I see it on the bus quite a lot when I'm going to college. Uh, you sort of see the same sort of people on the bus, obviously. If you've been on it that many times, like I have. And everyone's just sort of looks soulless. You've got the people who are just on the phone, not being present. And you've just got the people who are just sat, just like... Looking like they don't give a crap about anything. The only people talking on the bus seem to be the elderly people, but they're talking to people that they've known since 1952. And God forbid that any of the young people are actually conversating. And then you've got that one geezer at the back of the bus vaping. It's just a very depressing atmosphere. They're all NPCs. <laughs> that's, that's the best way to describe it. Everyone's an NPC. They're just programmed to live every day the same. And it can get you down, that sort of atmosphere. It's like... You know, you might have a decent morning, but as soon as you get on the bus like that, or, you know, you step outside and it's grey skies, it's same shit, different day. That's the mentality that a lot of people have. But this isn't right, because we're letting our external environment, the things that we can't control, control us. Now, why are we letting... All of these other things, what other people do, what other people say, the weather, buses, right? Why are we letting these things dictate our emotions? If anything, that should describe yourself as emotionally unstable because your emotions are being directly influenced by external factors, not your own. So you need to take, you know, take back your emotions. You can't just let it some random geezer on the bus who's got no teeth reading his newspaper above you on the bus or some geezer with his chuffing bong making a chuffing smoke smoke screen behind you you just can't let it happen I am looking to the right by the way because I've got some points I don't want to miss out any points so how do we avoid this then we need to start adding variation into our day now I bet you're thinking well I have a routine. Now, routines are important. It's It can be good that you do the same things over and over again to ensure that you're somewhat productive, but case in point, right? Every time I see people get on the bus, right? In the UK, we have like bus passes that you can scan. I don't know how it works in other countries, but you'll have people come onto the bus and they'll ask for a ticket and they'll just stand there awkwardly, like someone does when they're like with a cashier and they're paying for the items. They'll just stand there awkwardly, they'll get the ticket, thank you, and then go sit down. And it's just like, it seems so plastic because they literally, they get on the bus, they don't acknowledge that this other person in front of them, the bus driver, was a human being. And they're just like, oh, uh, one pound please, as in a one pound ticket. And then you just wait. And I take it, oh, thank you. It's just hollow. It's so upsetting to see that people act like this. So what I started doing is I started saying good morning. Now, of course, there are some bus drivers who are just completely, <laughs> just completely, uh, I don't know how you describe it, grumpy sods, shall we say. You just, I mean, how happy can a bus driver be? But then again, they're letting their external things, like their job, that they could change letting them affect their emotions but anyway I get on the bus 
and something that people don't do is that they don't i have like a bus pass on this card that i scan and what i would do is just scan it and say thank you and then go sit down what i started doing is that i started saying good morning with a smile I'd be like oh good morning oh thank you and it's just it makes me feel better right who gives a crap about how i feel i don't care if he's happy that i said good morning to him no it's about how i feel but no it is good that i'm just smiling at another human being acknowledging their existence and just i don't know making their day slightly better and it makes my day much better because i've you know this would be around eight o'clock in the morning when i'm getting on the bus and i've sort of kick-started my day with a positive thing and that's what you need to do you need to start adding variation into your day you need to start doing things you don't expect for example if we think of another example this is a good one being grateful for mundane things right so uh, i am using the example of being sat on a bus but you could do this if you're like walk to wherever or you know if you drive if you're going on your drive or your um your morning route to wherever you go college or work or whatever start noticing things and be appreciative of, appreciative of them like for example when i go to college at eight o'clock in the morning the sun's coming up now i see all these people on their phones looking like this one there's a beautiful looks like the chuffing serengeti right beautiful orange sky rising up and everyone's just like this whereas i'm like looking inquisitively at this like um beautiful sunrise this wonderful nature thing that i don't think i'll ever get bored of right i've probably seen however many tens of tens of thousands probably not tens of thousands but different sunrises yeah i never get bored of it it's just so wonderful and beautiful or you could even just be grateful of stuff like i'm grateful that i'm on this vehicle that's transported to me to where i need to go otherwise i have to walk or you can be grateful for all the beautiful trees nature is the best thing that you can be grateful for even if it's just a blade of grass you're seeing some beautiful greenery be grateful of that and it's being grateful of mundane things that you start enjoying life more. You start being grateful of the little things. You start noticing the little things. I do apologize, by the way, if I have a minor list because I've been having my retainer in and it's kind of like blistered my tongue. I'm going to get it fixed soon, but I've just got a mild blister on the end of my tongue that's making it a bit difficult to speak. So I found a bit like Sylvester in Socrates. But anyway start being grateful for mundane things and when you start being grateful and appreciative of these things and saying good morning to bus drivers and stuff you take back control of your emotions even when you get to your workplace or your college or school or whatever start a conversation with someone you wouldn't normally speak to because i don't know no the thing that i used to be fearful of is the fearful of <laughs> is um that if I was going up to someone to speak, that I would be bothering them. Because it's much easier to have a conversation with someone who's initiated the conversation than you being the initiator yourself. Because if they initiate the conversation with you, like you're 100% certain that they want to talk to you. Otherwise, they wouldn't have started the conversation. Whereas if it's you starting the conversation with them, you don't know if you're catching them at a bad time. Obviously, there are visual signals that you can get. Like, for example, if they've got their headphones in or they're doing work, they probably don't want to be disturbed. But if they're just, you know, hanging around and you want to talk to them, just go up and say, oh, good morning, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Uh, say, what classes have you got? Uh, what's your plan for today? Just stuff like that, you know. And it, We just treat each other like robots now. We just always want to get something out of someone. It's always like, right, you need to do this for me. I'll do this for you. Yep, see you later, nine to five. I'll go get my keys and then same day, same shit, different day like let's be human again please just start treating people like people and start acting like a person start acting like a social butterfly a wonderful human being that you are honestly man it is such a sad thing to see when you're on the bus and you see so many depressed people but i don't let that affect me because i know that i can be the positive thing i don't let them dictate my emotions i am the dictator of my emotions i am the one that says right i'm gonna feel happy now i'm gonna feel angry like, if I wanted to right now, I could just get angry for no reason. Not no reason. I could obviously visualize things in my head and get a really aggressive mood and start fucking... Ah! But I won't do that. <laughs> but I do have the ability to that. I, ha I believe that I have complete control over my emotions. 
but I don't have control over my runny nose. <laughs> and that's what you need to start doing. You need to start having control over your emotions. Be happier with life. Be more grateful for life. Stop living every day like it's Groundhog Day, which is a fantastic film, by the way, that I recommend you watch. You know, best film, in my opinion. Well, not the best film, but it's my favourite movie that I can watch over and over again. Ironic. But I'll sign off now. Stop being an NPC. Stop worrying about what other people think. Don't let external things affect your mood. You are the captain of your fate. Wait, no. You are the master of your fate. You are the captain of your soul. I was told that quote every single day in high school, and I still can't remember it properly. But anyway, thank you for watching. God bless, bro. Mwah.